Welcome back guys to another video and in this one we are continuing on with the tier 4 career progress for the mobile operation missions on hard mode in under 10 minutes for each mission. If you have not seen the first video I covered the first 4 MOC missions in that one and in today's one we are going to finish off with the remaining 4 missions so let's get into it. So starting things off with the mission cover blown and I'm again playing with some random here but it is only one other person I'm playing with This mission itself was fairly easy probably the hardest thing about it was trying to put the truck cab onto the trailer but I got there eventually and we're on our way now. So this is a straight drive down to the docks. And providing you keep the speed up, the laser won't be able to lock onto you. And it's at this point I take my usual cut off down to the, the highway here which is certainly easier than trying to thread this trailer through to the on-ramp. And as you saw there, if you've got enough speed, you can get through most of the blockades fairly easy. But on these narrower streets, you do need to take a bit more care, as hitting one of these wooden poles will just stop you dead. And as you see here, even this 3 jeep blockade doesn't really slow me down that much. Across the bridge and a couple of more corners and that is us done. Certainly, probably one of the easiest missions out of the eight. And we completed this in just over five minutes. But there you have it guys, that was mission 5, cover blown. And there we have the notification for 5 out of 8 completed. Let's get on to the 6th one. So mission 6 is Mole Hunt and I've got Venom back helping me with these final 3 missions. This first part is simply driving to the location and destroying the signal jammers which are in the back of these trucks here and the weaponized tamper you do have the missiles or you can switch to the guns. So after destroying the signal jammers all crew members must go to this meeting point and you won't proceed until everyone's there. We've narrowed it down to an area in the city. Search the location, find the mall and take him out. And after that checkpoint we are sent down to Elysian Island. And I do like to use these rail tracks and the bridge here as a shortcut 
as the more time you can save driving the better because this is one of the lengthier missions out of these four. But once we're here it's just a matter of finding the mole. Now, as you'll see when we do eventually find the mole, it's merely a cutscene that shows. So I'm not sure what triggers a cutscene, but it's more than likely all crew members need to be on this part of Elysian Island before that cutscene will start for you. And as you can see from the minimap, that is Venom just arrived on the island and it's round about now that we get the cutscene. So the final part of the mission is chasing them down and destroying the weaponized tamper. Now these weaponized insurgents can be a bit of a pain but they are easily taken out with two or three shots. And just another wee tip for you here is try not to have too many people going for the, the weaponized tamper at the same time because you'll just get in each other's way as you can probably see from the, the demolition derby that's happening here. I know I hit Venom with the missiles at least twice, which we managed to get away with. But as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, the weaponized Tampa is nearly gone. And that final missile takes it out. So now it is just a matter of delivering the weaponized Tampas to the drop off point, which is just before the prison. Like I said, this was the longest mission out of these four and we did it in just over eight and a half minutes. But there you go, as you can see, 6 out of 8. And moving on to the 7th mission, which is Data Breach. Get to the point on your GPS, you're retrieving some bikes for us. I'm sure you don't know, but our servers have been compromised. The cat may be out of the bag, but with your help, it's not getting out of the country. These thieves are high-end opportunists. They've got the data and modified superbikes. We get the bikes, we get the data. So in this one we are driving to the tunnel entrance just off the highway. I shouldn't need to say, but this information is priceless. These guys will do anything to keep hold of it. Take them out and move those vehicles. And it is just a matter of making your way through the tunnels until you get to the oppressors. There's not too many Merryweather guards here, but one tip I would give you is once you get to this point, don't blow up these jeeps or both of them, and leave one of them so as you can drive it through the tunnel. We ended up having to run through both sets of tunnels until this point here, and the barriers there probably wouldn't have stopped the jeep, but there is another one here, and I finally realised better taking this rather than running all the way through. As you will soon see, it does make it easier to get past these guards and the ones right next to the oppressors. But from here, it's just a matter of getting on the oppressors and making your way out the tunnels. This first tunnel part is fairly straightforward, with the lock on missiles making it easy. And once you are out, a couple more targets you need to take out. All we need to do now is get the bikes back safely to the delivery point. And this is where I had an issue. There seemed to be an invisible barrier for me getting on the back of the plane. But after about a minute of trying, Venom was able to get on the bike and get into the back of the plane, no bother at all. So just be aware of that. But it did only take us six and a half minutes and that is seven out of eight completed. Moving on to the final mission, which is Work Dispute. This one did take us a few attempts, but that was mainly down to me. Um, I don't own a Mark I oppressor, and I think I've only, including the last mission, I think I've only been on one, two or three times. That being said, I did finally get the hang of it. And the first thing is, you do need to take out these two Valkyries here. Try and get them taken out before you get to the, the dock area itself. 
uh, I believe there is another couple that do spawn in as well here and their explosive ammo is deadly as you will soon see but I'm still trying to get to grips with this Mark 1 and the Valkyries take full advantage of my incompetence but thankfully you do get an extra life on the, this final mission so I just take out the Valkyries with the explosive snipers before jumping back on my Mark 1 but as you can see there in the bottom right corner if your Mark 1 does get destroyed you do get a vehicle respawn but that is both MOCs destroyed Moving on to the second part of the mission, which is destroying the real MOC, and unfortunately for me it is on the move, but stick to the road just using the boost and spamming the missiles, which makes it so much easier. And as you can see, the police and the weaponized insurgent up front there are taking my missiles, but once we get past them, you can see in the bottom right the health of the MOC goes down quite rapidly with a few missiles and it's not long before it's taken out. Just like all previous missions it is just a matter of getting the Mark 1 back to the drop off point. And that is the final mission completed and we did that in a time of just under six and a half minutes which was actually really surprising considering my skill level on the Mark 1 but there you can see the notification for 8 out of 8 and if we go into the career progress we can see it on the tier 4 level there as well. I will also have a video out in the next day or two covering the bunker shooting range and how to easily get all challenges completed there. If you did enjoy today's video, do hit that like button and if you are new here, why not consider subscribing for even more daily GTA videos. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one guys.